Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point and this is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle a web table or HTML table in Cypress. What exactly for HTML table and uh, web table means? This is all about for our table. You can see that table format and if you inspect this particular one, Okay, now you can see there are a table tag it is presented. Name it is a book table. Okay, if you can D body and TRs. And if you TR expand, it will like enable TH it is presented. And if your next TR means TD. TD is indication for the column. TH indicates what header of the column. Okay, what exactly this is the column, right? For indication, this book name, it is indication for this particular header of this remaining column values. Okay. TD means column exactly and TH means column of header. Okay. TR means a rows of a table. Okay. We can able to rows and column combination that is called as a table. Okay. This kind of information how and how many ways we can able to handle. We can able to whether this particular uh, table is visible or not. And even we can able to specific value is visible or not. And even we can able to equal that conditions and whether that particular value is visible or not. And whether the value is equal or not contains that particular value contains or not. <clears throat> Sorry. Some specific value we can able to say one column member we can able to say amod is there if amod is presented then we can able to master in java we can able to validate like this we can able to do some conditional validation for table also okay this many things we can able to do it how we can able to achieve then first we can take this url and create our describe suit for web table and mention our function creation then test case creation the here also we need to do some name of title then we need to use it here function creation then cypress.visit is basically visit our url now up to here every time is common now what is the one we have to do with the first one First one, we need to check this particular table is visible or not. Okay, this text box is whether it is visible or not means we have the table column. This is a table once you mouse over and what is the name of that book table. Okay, and if I'm going to use it here, table type, there are nine table values are presented. But in this, how we can able to identify by using attribute attribute is name and value is book table then you can able to use it that is a one highlighted means there is a one table is presented first we can able to say see what dot get okay now in the first case we are going to check that particular table is visible or not for visible or not we need to show we need to use for should once we use a should and the single quotation you can use for b dot visible this is a concept we can able to say whether that particular table is visible or not first condition is table is visible or not okay whether it is satisfied or not we'll see npx Cypress open. Now Cypress is launched. We are going to use for Chrome itself. Our test case is that web table. Now you can see if that code is 
present, then it will show for green that table is presented. Our validation will be pass. Now you can expect a table to be visible. Yes, it is visible as it is passed. Okay. Even you can change the value of that. You can able to use it here. Save it. We will get for some error. Keep on checking after loading the session of this particular one, table one, to be visible. It is not visible. Assertion is failed after 4000 milliseconds. Okay. Now I'm going to change my original value. Once we change the original value, we need to choose a specific value from a table. A specific value from a table, whether it is visible or not. What value we can able to? We can take for selenium or learning selenium, anything. Okay. Anything we can able to take it and we can able to validate our value. Okay. I'm going to take it for learning selenium. Okay. I'm going to inspect here. Here I'm in presenting and I can able to take mouse over copying here. I'm going to take for path. Now I can see this is my path is presented. This is too lengthy. How to decrease the spare entire information means we can able to write our own CSS selector path also. Okay. And how we can able to use it. And we used our table like this one. And I'm going to specify in here. This is a value. Okay. This is my value. But these are going to take for exact path of value. Okay. Exact path of value. And whether even sometimes we don't know specific for, but we need to identify our value inside TDs are present, the column side is presented or not. How that kind of information? Okay. First specific value I'll go and then we'll go any location value. Now this is my path. I'm coming to here. Specific path value CY dot I get. I'm going to mention and I'm going to mention for my table value. Okay, once I mention table value and I'm going to use for contents. Okay, contains method. Contains method, I'm going to use it here. My contents, what value I'm going to verify. This is my learning Java, sorry, Selenium. Single quotation I mentioned and should and b dot visible I mentioned if that particular value is visible in the specific value location or not. If it is visible, second case is satisfied. Now that location also it is verified. Okay. Now I'm going to check for in a table any location the value should be presented. Which value? Learning selling. Any location will be present. I want to validate. How to validate any location value? Okay. And now I'm going to use it for this specific path. This is my table. Okay. In the table, what are the things it is there? And TH and TDs. Right. Our values are indication for TDs. Okay, I'm going to taking for TD. I'm going to taking for TD that is contains. Again, I'm going to use for contains. What tag I'm going to do for tag is TD. What value I need to verify? Learning Selenium. Okay. Learning Selenium. Now what I want to do be that particular value is be visible or not the condition. I'm going to pass it. Now I can save and run three conditions now. One is table and any location value and specific location value. All 
three is satisfied. Correct. Now, our next concept is conditional based verification. Yeah. Sorry, what is a conditional based means? We can take any one particular column, and if that particular column value is satisfied, then before value we need to check. This is our conditional base. If Amod is presented, Amod is based on the book name is Master in Java. Okay, how to validate this kind of conditional base? And meanwhile, I'm going to stop this execution because once we save again, it will run. Now I'm going to take it here. Now, cy dot a get. Okay, what column we need to take? We want to take for second column. For second column, we already used here. This is our first column indication, right? This is our first column. And even you can able to see, once you make it, it will goes for here and we can able to see that particular location. But it is a part of single row, single cell, right? I want to check for entire columns. Then how to do means in a simple concept, we can able to remove this one entire things and can pass. Now you can see this is my path. Why I'm taking you can able to see previous what happened only single. Now you can see one out of six values, one out of six values. Now I want to make it for one to two. One to two means second column, six cell values it is having. Then I'm going to take this value. Okay. Now I want to take here and I need to paste it here. Now I'm under inside that. Then what do we need to do? We need to do for each loop. For each loop, what it is says that in a six cells, any one location is present. Mine is here. Means fifth cell value is mine. Okay. Fifth cell value is Amod. If Amod is present, then master in Java should be validated. Right then what we can do means we need to rotate every time we need to rotate our cell then we need to use it for each okay each is the method for for, for loop type okay and once we done the each and we need to specify values what what type of values we need to specify means we want to get some values from response. For that, I'm going to use for dollar $E. Dollar $E is indication for some specific value validation. And then index. Index is basically it will take for all the six rows values, means six columns values. Okay, six columns indexes. One, two, three, four, like that. It will take for indexes. Okay dollar list is a variable to story okay then i'm going to creating for my function now okay this is called a function creation and inside that now what we need to do now we take that variables one is indexation every time why index is right the six rows is there every time we are finding and once we put the some condition amod once he is satisfied the same row we have master in Java. How to validate, right? The index, whenever we use, it will take that position and we can able to use it to go for that particular index position, take the value and verify it for that. Okay. Now, what was that we need to take? Here, I'm going to take for constant is a variable and what we need to author. Author. Okay. I mentioned for author 
and here I am what I'm going to do for a dollar dot guest dollar dot sorry dollar e dot text dollar e dot text what will happen every column it will contains dollar e then first value it is coming means it will take Amit is whether he is satisfied or not and Mukesh is satisfied or not like that you will check every time once a mode is coming then it will validate right for I am storing here the value every time we are getting now here I am going to use it here if condition and author I am going to mention and here includes includes is a method to whether it is present or not whose I want to take a moth no I space for a moth here now coming to create here function this condition now inside this what we need to do once we satisfy and we need to take first columns values first columns of values how we can able to we can remove two and one then it will six values it is contained okay now i'm taking this value again cy dot get and i'm going to specify this value okay but we can able to by using this one every time it will show only for first position value which is learning selling it will not go for next value then what we can do and we can do for dot eq eq and we can able to specify index index what index when a mode is satisfied in the position which position it is satisfied this index every time it will rotate right then it is having the position that position and which uh, column is in this column in the first column in the entire first column same amount row and we can able to go and take it okay now once we are presented here then what we need to do and we need to do some condition for this i'm going to use what then and again i'm going to create for function here in a function what do i want to create this book name values we need to take it right book names we need to take what we can able to declare here name is a variable i'm going to declare and again here what i can do again i can create for constant variable b name okay b name it is presented name dot text is the variable i'm storing for this book value okay once the book value is coming then i am going to do for expected condition what expecting for condition b name book name two dot eq we can able to use eq contains include anything we can able to use or should visible that concept also we can able to use now once master in java i'm going to specify if this particular value is satisfied then our code become a pass otherwise it will fail now i'm going to do it here web table now all the conditions should be passed means four conditions four conditions are satisfied this is a format we can able to use it for our Cypress to validate a web table or HTML table. I hope you understand this video. Please like me, video. please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.